EEG to music conversion. Yeah, we have this too complicated structure, which we probably do not need. Run by code. I'm asking to not generate anything, but it is generating. Py file. You share sets up a basic Flask web application with roots to handle EEG data visualization and conversion to music. Here's a brief overview and some suggestions for improvement. Flask app configuration. You configure the Flask app to use specific directories for templates and static files, which is good practice for organizing your project structure. Index root. Displays the main page of the application. Retrieves EEG data based on parameters like start, count, and channel. The function load underscore data is used to fetch data, and the result is returned as JSON. Includes error handling, which is important for robustness. Currently, this root does not take parameters from requests. Instead, it uses hard-coded values, start, count, channel. Calls convert underscore eeg underscore da underscore music to process the EEG data into music. Returns a success message upon completion, with error handling included. Parameterize the convert route. Modify. Instead of just printing errors to the console, instead of logging them to a file for better error tracking and debugging. Add more robust validation for input parameters in both routes. For example, check if the start and count are within acceptable ranges, and if the channel is valid. Return more descriptive error messages to help front-end developers or users understand what went wrong. Okay, okay so we want to turn this into music. There's a few problems. This button is not doing anything. Are there errors? No. Okay, so we're having trouble with the MIDI JS giving a 404. How do we fix that? Yeah, definitely wanted to do this. I thought I'm doing this already, but obviously Modified not. Modified convert EEG to music route to accept parameters like start, count, and channel from request. You can follow similar approaches used in the EEG data route. Here's an updated version of your convert EEG to music route with these changes. Parameter retrieval. The route now retrieves start, count, and channel parameters from request. These parameters determine which segment of the EEG data is to be converted into music. Dynamic data handling. The load underscore data function uses these parameters to fetch the appropriate EEG data segment. Logging for debugging. Added a debug log to track the parameters being used for conversion. I was pretty sure I was doing this already, but obviously not. Load EEG data is the same. Convert EEG data, EEG data, return JSON file message. That's correct. Okay, the other thing is on loading, I get uh, no signal. This button doesn't seem to do much. Play EEG music button doesn't seem to do anything. Can you fix this for us? So when we hit the button in network, we don't get anything. And no. So in JavaScript, where is our JavaScript? We haven't uploaded it yet. The bot doesn't know anything about it yet. And hopefully if it maintain context, it should uh, pick up if there's any errors with this one. Okay, what's about this one? Asynchronous behavior. Since fetch eeg data is asynchronous, ensure that any dependent functionality properly handles the asynchronous nature, possibly using then or async await. So getting this other error that didn't look good. So the mini JS, you're initializing it in the HTML. It's not available, is it? Okay, this will be a problem, wouldn't it? Let's just fix the link for us. I understand this was used in some example code but if you're such a smart bot can you find this for us okay is this url correct yes find midi js there is a midi js there's a player css uh, which one should i use it's not the same link looks a lot uh, okay do i need that integrity line what is that integrity line no idea and it's Save this, run again. Yeah, that error seem to have went away. Yeah, don't expect the MP3. There's no MP3. Still doesn't do anything. Chill five with the button. Okay, the button still. Okay, let's check the HTML. So play media ID. Search for that. We have get document by ID click function. And this is going into this path but this path i suspect is empty okay this path is empty and what should populate this path is this music conversion python code and yes we had this problem already last time so we're just going in circles unfortunately yeah this path is empty can you help us anything useful i think we had a problem with this code a music conversion function should be called from run by 
Yeah, we need, we have to have the URL. We access it like this, convert it DG to music. We get an internal server error. Ba -ba. Yeah, let's go back for a sec because we really shouldn't be doing this manually. Code should be doing this for us. So in HTML, when we hit the button in JavaScript, this code is not running properly, is it? First of all, because this sound font is probably not available. Okay, this one gives a 404, but why am I not even getting that error? There's something else uh, wrong. Control F5. Yeah, this is uh, a structural issue. Might take longer than I, than I expected. A couple of problems. First, this URL gives a 404, so that sound font doesn't exist at that URL. They give me fake links again. Or is it actually working? is working that's great but that's this has a lot of rubbish swear midi j s is yeah we could host it locally but this thing's actually working piano player it's a js file right not found it's a downloading well hopefully mine works faster well first of all this is working okay Well, how about we use EG to just activate this? Because <laughs> this will actually be playing uh, uh, music. It's the beginning of this. It's uh, pretty decent. How about... Ah, keyboard is actually working as well. But how's the keyboard maps to the keys? And also... Anyway, there's many questions to this, but th th this works. That's great. Uh, our link didn't work. So question, where do I... There's an API. This is for downloading sound font. Okay. Uh, would this work? The MIDI. Load plugin method in your code snippet is used to initialize the MIDI. JS library with specific instruments and a callback function. On success. When MIDI. Load plugin is called. It loads the specified instruments and then executes the unsuccess callback upon successful loading. Okay, we're already using that. We have a grand piano. Well, right, except that URL doesn't work. But this suggests we do not need it at all. Okay, well, that, that link doesn't work to be given. If so, my guess would be it didn't actually do anything because that sound URL failing. Oh, but then it still doesn't do anything. Yeah, play MIDI button doesn't work. And yeah, so I do not have the sound font. Uh, when debugging, don't get anything at all, which is super weird. By the way, if you haven't checked the site, please do so. If you have any feedback, comments, please do let me know. Okay, I need to understand how this MIDI plugin actually works why are we saving it to file at all is this needed twice uh, does it work i was expecting it to not actually write file but um uh, play the notes as they go so essentially it will convert this into notes and as you move along we'll convert it to notes as well and we'll just keep uh, playing how about that as a prompt i mean and this button doesn't do anything at all so we might as well get rid of it and it's load file it's loading file this python code meant to be saving it yeah i have a whole structure issue because that this file is not running properly so if music conversion doesn't work uh, there's nothing to be played so it should be called in the javascript isn't it get eg data so my js is actually not calling this function yes so the bot should already have this numpy where is this function being called there is a can we double check it's being called in javascript properly function is not there is there f plot eg data the data fetch eg data const url how many of those we have only one right so we weren't even 
call it a convert button have a convert button uh, we do not want the nav button we want to somehow do it automatically when you change inputs on the html uh, page now slider is a good start wait we add this date data we already have update that uh, yeah we'll deal with that the past the bounce timer a bit later anyway it doesn't seem like we're doing much progress so I might just sum up and uh, out so eventually what we want is uh, have this eg raw data loaded on the front page and this uh, parameter is based on certain features like amplitude frequency we would like to generate musical notes out of this signal we haven't got yet in to the technical aspect of how to do it gpt gave us some a generic example that we are trying to test but still having trouble implementing it all into one place i'll see you later bye